Good morning and welcome to the webinar, A Whole New Perspective on Maintenance Reliability. My name is Terrence O'Hanlon. I'm the publisher at Reliability Web and Uptime Magazine, and I'm the director of the Asset Management profession, Professionals, better known as AMP. And it's my pleasure to be here as your host and moderator. And um, for the for this particular webinar, I'm also probably going to be the person who talks the most. Um, it is a pleasure, as I said, to be here hosting this webinar, and it's also um, an honor for us to have your interest in um, the International Maintenance Conference, IMC 2013. This is the 28th year for the International Maintenance Conference, making it one of the largest and longest uh, running maintenance conferences in the world. Um, in addition to IMC this year, the International Maintenance Conference, there are three pre-conference forums, uh, forums co-located with IMC. There's the Reliability-Centered SAP Plant Maintenance Forum. There's the Reliability-Centered Maximo Forum. And there's a special ISO 55000 Asset Management Forum uh, being held on December 9th and 10th. Um, they, they coincide. They start the day before IMC does, and then the short courses from the forums blend with the short courses uh, from IMC. So we'll just talk about that a little bit more uh, as we get into this overview presentation. Um, the um, location for both the pre-conference forums as well as IMC is the beautiful Hyatt Regency Coconut Point Resort in Bonita Springs, Florida, which is over on the west coast of Florida, um, directly uh, two hours west of Miami and Fort Lauderdale and two hours south of Tampa. It's a three-hour drive from uh, Orlando. And we are Florida's best kept secret, and we are where the sun sets in Florida on the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. IMC um, is based on a number of things. And the edge that we think um, that we bring with this particular conference is we focus on what you need to know, not what is nice to know. Everything here is designed regardless of your current level um, or the domain that you operate in. And um, we base a lot of what we do on a book titled Don't Just Fix It, Improve It, A Journey to Precision Domain. Um, and what's talked about in that is the reactive domain, the planned domain, the precision domain, and ultimately, hopefully, the world-class domain. So regardless of where you see yourself in these particular operating domains, we've got content at the International Maintenance Conference designed for you to stabilize the, um, the current domain and move to one level further and keep your journey going. The other thing that the International Maintenance Conference is based around, in fact, everything at Reliability Web, Uptime Magazine, and um, any of the conferences that we produce are based around. Some of you may already be familiar with it. We call it Uptime Elements. It's a reliability system for asset performance management. As you can see graphically, um, we make this like the scientific um, chart of elements. And basically what we've done is we've broken down the topics, um, if, you, if you'd like to refer to it that way, we call them elements of um, asset performance into four major domains. The reliability engineering for maintenance domain, the asset condition management domain, the work execution domain, and the leadership domain. And we apply these across what we call an asset management timeline, the various phases of an asset's life cycle. Um, reliability engineering for maintenance, the orange category, are the items that you use to determine um, how to achieve reliability. In other words, these are the ways to understand how a system fails, the consequences of failure, the, uh, the criticality of your various assets, and um, using it to then aim your efforts. The green domain asset condition management are um, what has traditionally been referred to as predictive maintenance. Some people use the term condition-based maintenance. It's your advanced sensing technologies like vibration, oil analysis, ultrasound, infrared, motor testing, combined with precision techniques like alignment and balancing, non-destructive testing, with an overview of an information management system. One um, system uh, that allows you to know what the condition of your assets are, hence asset condition management. 
the blue domain work execution management is that once you, once you use the orange domain to determine what work you should be doing and you're aiming it, you need a way to execute that work. Um, this is done through preventive maintenance, planning, scheduling, um, operator-driven reliability, um, MRO spares management, defect elimination, and of course you need some sort of information management system, transactional management system to track your uh, maintenance work, the materials that you use, as well as understanding um, uh, how long systems have run, when they failed, and how and what reason uh, they failed. So you can feed that information in a loop back to the orange domain uh, to continue to improve your um, your work execution management. And then we see many, many organizations, um, when they do make the move to a different domain and to make reliability improvements, focus on the green and the blue. Some domains focus on the orange, the green, and the blue. Um, and they generally can make some um, short-term improvements focusing on the three of those areas. What we often see lacking in programs that have difficulty sustaining um, is the red, the leadership elements. And this is where we have the, the few and precious KPIs that really matter. Um, operational excellence, physical asset management concepts, uh, human capital management, um, con competency-based um, learning to be able to deliver the competencies to deliver the results, executive sponsorship to steer through the, the times when um, specific monetary gains may be um, a little bit elusive or there's conflicts with other silos within the organization. And last but absolutely not least would be uh, integrity. Um, and we, we call integrity keeping your word and we think integrity is a uh, differentiator for reliability. Um, very quickly, as we've got a lot to cover today, down at the bottom of the asset um, uptime elements is the asset management timeline. Really translated, these are the phases that an asset goes through over its operating life. Um, a business needs analysis is determining the need, uh, planning the asset, what's going to actually happen, what resources do we need, what kind of money do we need, um, designing the asset, creating the asset, and handing it over. Primarily, we all deal in this second to the right, second to the last on the right hand side, operate and maintain. And of course, it's quite easy for us to see where the orange and the green and the blue fit in the operating and maintain domain. And then some of us are involved with either modification, renewal, upgrading, or disposing the asset. What we try to do is overlay these four domains uh, with every phase of asset management life cycle, asset life cycle management, forgive me. So with that in mind, who who is this? conference actually designed for. Um, and IMC is designed for people who lead operational excellence, reliability, or asset management programs, people who manage reliability, operational excellence, or asset management programs, or individual contributors to reliability programs, asset management programs, uh, predictive maintenance programs. If you're a planner or scheduler, storeroom, uh, you work with the CMS, CMMS, there are um, all types of presentations that you should find valuable at the International Maintenance Conference. Um, for the people who are very interested in technology, we do have hands-on learning laboratories for vibration and alignment. Uh, balancing, signal analysis, operator-driven reliability, motor testing, lubrication, and oil analysis. The learning labs um, go on uh, during the same time that the, um, the um, uh, reliability presentations are going on. Um, there's benchmarking and networking opportunities at IMC. We use the, um, the same kind of, we're, we're, we're offering kind of a benchmarking light, a quick way to assess where you are and what gaps you might have in your reliability and asset management program by using some of the same rubrics and scoring techniques that we use for the uptime awards that we um, deliver each year at the International Maintenance Conference. Some people like to break off into smaller groups, um, and we offer what we call reliability and asset management coaches. We recruit various subject matter experts and, and um, offer a small group setting, somewhere between five and 15 people to be able to sit in a more um, uh, intimate or private setting and ask questions directly to subject matter experts. That's been a very popular feature at the International Maintenance Conference, and we plan to uh, expand it this year. 
We're also announcing something new at the International Maintenance Conference this year. Um, we're creating a certification based on the body of knowledge around those uptime elements. It's called the Certified Reliability Leader. Um, what it's really designed for are people who are either leading, managing, or contributing to uh, a reliability improvement initiative at their particular company, their organization, uh, or a specific set of assets within their organizations. And watch uh, Reliability Web for more information about that um, as, as, the, uh, as we get closer to IMC. That will be the launch of the first exam. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about at the um, International Maintenance conference this year is the keynotes. I don't know how many of you have ever read uh, Zap by uh, William Byham. He's the author of 23 books, including Zap. It helps managers understand of how, how to empower employees and to improve uh, productivity. As, um, as we talked about when we looked at the uptime elements in the domains, again, you can, you can master reliability engineering for maintenance. Um, it's a technical approach to maintenance reliability. Um, you can master the asset condition management, the technologies and the information management around the technologies. Um, you can master the work execution management, the planning, scheduling, the way you will deliver the work that derives from your maintenance plan. Um, but we find what, what the differentiator is, is people. And uh, so we go far and wide and generally outside of the maintenance reliability community to find business leaders and thought leaders who can bring new ideas into our community that then can be adopted specifically for the context of maintenance reliability and asset management. And William Byham is just one of those people. Um, he's absolutely fantastic and talks about retaining leadership talent, how to identify it, how to develop it. So he's going to teach us how to grow our own leaders at IMC, and we're particularly excited about that. Um, that Zap, if you haven't picked it up, uh, is a best-selling book. I think it's sold over a million um, copies. Um, another author that we're very, very excited about hosting for a keynote at IMC is um, William Schaefer, author of The Breakthrough Strategy, and he's also authored uh, Rapid Results, How 100-Day Projects Build the Capacity for Large-Scale Change. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the manufacturing game um, uh, and Winston Lede and his work um, from the DuPont benchmarking all the way through to the work he's doing, um, including the books that we publish, The Journey to Precision Domain and uh, Level 5 Leadership, some of his work is based on the work of Robert Schaefer. Um, and really, um, this is about uh, performance improvements, change acceleration, um, and, and getting your team in shape so that they are um, world-class at delivering on projects. Very much the same way that a, maybe a professional um, uh, basketball team or football team is in game shape in the middle of the season. This is a way to get your team into, into game shape for delivering results on projects on an ongoing basis. In other words, having them uh, deliver the same way a professional team delivers results in the context of, a, of, a, of an athletic game. Uh, this, he talks about ways to get your team into shape and it's all accessible. Uh, it's all with things that you have in your ability and your power uh, right now. Of course, um, tongue-in-cheek, we have to design one keynote so that if you stay out late the night before, uh, you feel fine about sleeping in through, and that would be the one by Terrence O'Hanlon. Um, uh, we're, we're here talking about, um, uh, I actually hope you do get up and attend. If you do attend IMC, uh, so I'm kidding you a little bit, but we are going to talk about why um, having a guide for your reliability improvements is important. And again, I, I hope you uh, will think about um, getting there. Some of you who've been to IMC also know that um, we spend a great deal of program design around the networking opportunities. Um, and we want you to expand your professional relationships from your participation in this event. And we, we, we design the program so that there are many opportunities for you to meet um, new friends, connect with old friends you might know. Um, we find that there is as much information exchange and as much value in the informal conversations that take place in a conference like IMC as there is at the formal learning sessions. So we're very excited. Um, if you've been there the past couple of years, um, you know we've had some really dynamite um, 
concerts brought to us by our friends up in uh, Nashville, Des Case. Uh, they have brought a, um, a group called Bombshell for the last couple of years. And um, that group is no longer um, in, in the same form that it's in. It's been reformed as a band called American Young. And we're really pleased to have them coming back down this year. They, uh, they really blew us away last year and provided a great concert night for us. And we're very excited about having them come down. These uh, people have written songs for Kenny Chesney, uh, Lee Bryce, Rascal Flatts, Blake Shelton, and, and many, many more. And it's a really energetic night. Uh, we try to have fun with our casino night, and um, uh, we have uh, ping pong or table tennis, as they say. We've got um, the ability for you to get up and sing a song or tell a joke if you like. We like to make sure the audience um, has a voice at IMC. So there's there's point is there's many opportunities for you to um, uh, expand your circle of, um, of of friends and people you can people who face the same challenges that you face. Um, over the years, we've raised quite a bit of money for autism awareness through the charity golf tournament. Um, we hope that you'll consider either um, contributing to the charity golf tournament. You're welcome to give it uh, money if you'd like, although I'm not here to solicit you for that. It is an available thing for you to do, um, um, and uh, or play, and which also raises money. And um, last year, we raised 13,500. We do we each year since we've been doing this, we've been able to raise. Um, an additional amount total each year, and so we're hoping to keep that trend up. Um, and we'd appreciate any help that you could give us in that regard. And you can just email crm at reliabilityweb.com if you would like information about that. One thing we really try to do at IMC is make sure that you can go as um, deep as you want to uh, when it comes to uh, the gurus or the people um, that provide thought leadership in our community and we bring as many of them as we possibly can together for the International Maintenance Conference. As I already told you, we've got William Byron, author of Zap, Robert Schaefer for uh, Breakthrough Performance, Terry Wireman who's got close to 28 books um, including the Maintenance Strategy Series and Zero Breakdowns uh, will be there. Um, he's working hard at the conference doing many um, presentations and short courses. Ramesh Gulati, author of Maintenance Reliability Best Practices. Um, Joel Levitt, I think he's a mere second behind Terry in the number of books that he's written in the maintenance reliability space. Ricky Smith, who um, is social media um, guru in maintenance reliability. If you even think about LinkedIn, you know who Ricky Smith is. Um, Darren Wyckoff, who's written an absolutely fantastic book on operational excellence, centered on excellence, it's called. Um, one of the best books that currently are floating around in the maintenance reliability space. Christer Idhammer, who uh, has been telling us many of the fundamental things that we need to do that we still haven't done generally in this community. Uh, Bruce Hawkins, Cliff Williams, People, a Reliability Success Story, absolutely fantastic read. Uh, Doug Plucknett, uh, Tim Kister, Jerry Wilson, uh, all on hand to deliver um, presentation. Uh, including uh, Winston Lede also will be there. One thing I want to highlight is if you use um, the software SAP to manage your maintenance work or if you use the software Maximo to manage the work, these reliability-centered SAP plant maintenance and reliability-centered Maximo plant maintenance forums are um, not tech forums, but what they are, are they're, they're basically reliability conferences, but they're 100% focused on, on doing it in the context of using SAP as your support tool. And the same with Maximo. The Reliability Maximo Forum is uh, also done in the context. So 100% of the case studies are done using um, in the SAP Forum, uh, SAP, and in the Maximo Forum, Maximo. So if you use either one of those software programs, these pre-conference um, workshops are going to be a real um, boon to you and you should really consider uh, attending. The other thing is, if you haven't heard, there is a new asset management standard that's going to be released from ISO. The same group that brings you ISO 9001, ISO 14001 managing system standards, is now bringing you ISO 55000. It is an asset management um, standard. I'm not going to get into technicalities. It's actually a um, 
it's a managing system standard for asset management, but we won't uh, parse words here. For the purposes of this conversation, it's an asset management forum that we're presenting, and we're bringing some of the world's best experts together that have already had a lot of experience delivering the work that this standard is based on, BSI uh, PAS 55. Um, the Institute of Asset Management is involved. Um, uh, the people who are involved in the writing of this standard through the U.S. tag and several of the international tags are involved. If you're looking for a quick way to get up to speed with the people who know. Now, I will just say one thing. There's a lot of people out um, with ISO 55000 on their PowerPoints. The people, and you can look at the, the presentation schedule up at the website or download the PDF brochure, people that are involved in the delivery of this ISO 55000 asset management form are people who've been directly involved and are at the center of this body of knowledge. Um, of course, there's many people who have expertise and great wisdom to bring forward in terms of asset management. These, this group of people that are at this forum are specifically, though, the ones that have been around this activity and have had deep experience relating specifically to this activity. Um, I'm not going to go through these in detail, but just to let you know, this is the way that the schedule rolls. On Monday, December 9th, with, again, the uh, Reliability Centered SAP Forum together with the Reliability Centered Maximo Forum and the ISO 55000 Asset Management Forum are all going on at the same time. So in essence, three separate tracks. Um, so you can, you can sign up just for the pre-conference forums on December 9th and 10th or you can sign up just for IMC, December 10th through 13th, or you can do a combo uh, registration and end up doing uh, both. So it's, each one is 45-minute presentations uh, relating to um, either the software that you use, which would be SAP software for SAP AG in Germany, Maximo, which is IBM's Maximo software, or if you want to focus on this new upcoming standard, it does look like um, the standard will be published in October or November 2013. Um, so you'll be one of the first waves if you come and see these, this group of people. You will be one of the first waves of people who are formally um, uh, uh, trained in, um, in ISO 55000. Tuesday is short, certificate short courses in the morning. There's a series of 11 of them, and they're designed with the widest possible um, breadth of topics and the same, 11 in the afternoon. Um, and we kick the morning off with Robert Schaefer's keynote. Um, we, he was the author um, that we were talking about, Rapid Results and Breakthrough Strategy. Um, he'll be delivering the keynote prior to those short courses. And then he's going to stick around and actually this third short course in the morning, Rapid Results, How 100-Day Projects Build the Capacity for Large-Scale Change. Uh, he's going to stick around for a three-hour um, short course as well. So. Um, you can get this information off the brochure or the website on the agenda. And um, then we end the day with uh, Reliability's Got Talent and the America Young Concert. Well, the America's Got Ta Reliability's Got Talent is obviously a tongue-in-cheek on the popular television show. Um, but what we're, we're allowing you to do, if you have a talent you want to bring forward, um, we'll have a sign-up sheet either before or during that day if you, wanna, if you feel like you have a talent you want to share. Um, you, we hopefully have a place for you to, to do so. Wednesday, um, we, start the mo we start the morning with uh, William Byham, the author of Zap, um, another keynote. Those who are off of golfing will be able to golf on the Autism Charity Golf Tournament. Um, those who um, wish to uh, enhance their knowledge will have another opportunity for uh, 10 certificate workshops in all different topic areas. And then right after lunch, um, we start with a few uh, more short courses, but we also have, we begin the 45-minute case study presentations. That evening on Tuesday, we'll have a group benchmarking session, and we'll have monthly benchmarkings online prior to IMC, so it'll kind of lead up to this 415 session. And then, of course, the welcome reception opens up on Tuesday, and there is, um, you'll be able to see about 40 different, uh, or 60 different exhibitors. Thursday is a full day. We'll present the Uptime Award winning ceremonies in the morning. This is where I will also do the, uh, the keynote in the morning. And then we kick off with a series of um, 
45 minute case studies by some of the best companies around. Um, almost all practitioner case studies, almost all people who are at one point in those four domains we talked about. We have reactive, we have precision, we have um, uh, planned, and we have the world class domain all sorted out. And if you see here, by the way, each one, reliability engineering for maintenance is to the left. The green asset condition management is the second track. Work execution management is the third track. Leadership for um, reliability is the fourth track. And asset management is the fifth track. That's generally how each day is, um, is uh, arranged, except for the learning labs in which we have vibration, motor testing, alignment, balancing, operator-driven reliability, and lubrication going on. Um, that night we have casino night and table tennis. Uh, we have a, a DJ party for those who haven't had enough. Um, Friday, last day of the conference, we um, start the day with an expert panel in the morning and we go through another series of presentations and the learning labs are open. Um, and then finally uh, the conference uh, wraps up with giveaways and iPads and um, air books and things of that nature. At IMC, there are two separate expos. There's the, there's the forum expos, those pre-conference forums, the Reliability Centered SAP Forum, the Reliability Centered Maximo Forum, and the uh, Asset um, Management ISO 55000 Forum. There's a series of solution providers on the 9th and the 10th. Uh, and then, believe it or not, there is a second IMC Expo that goes on December 11th through the 13th. And there, there's uh, 60, I think, or 65 um, solution providers Listen, these solution providers that are both of these forums are companies that can help you with software, services, um, consulting, uh, training, uh, hardware. They have everything um, that we talk about for reliability improvement. And we thank them because I will tell you that for both of these um, expos, we cannot possibly hold these um, conferences without the uh, continued support of what we call these solution providers. They are a key pillar in the maintenance, reliability, and asset management community. Um, and they're the ones that you can learn a lot from in addition, especially when you combine that with the informal networking, the formal learning sessions that we have going on, plus these uh, solution providers allow you in four days or five days, however long you choose to participate in the conference, to zero your improvement efforts um, for the year. With many companies that come back year after year and they pick different domain areas to focus their improvement efforts in, and they find the, the solution providers that can help them uh, do just that. Um, the IMC is designed to show up um, as a team. Of course, you're welcome to come as an individual, and you will um, you will be able to create your own conference experience. But we also have it optimized for team participation, and we have um, uh, very advantageous uh, registration pricing if you do come as a team. And then you can kind of fan out. You can create your conference goals. We'll work with you to help you do so, or we'll give you some um, some um, some. Uh, planning sheets that allow you to create your outcome, your goal outcomes for IMC, and then you can um, kind of attack it as a team, gather the knowledge that you feel that you need in the areas you're going to focus in. So be sure to talk to us about that, and it's a great way to create um, uh, a new type of reliability culture. Reliability is as much a way of, of thinking and it's got to be embedded in your culture. Um, so it's not just coming here to gain specific techniques or specific strategies. This is an opportunity that you kind of let your hair down with your team. You can let them have some fun. You can reward them. But you can all kind of go back very aligned with what you need to do in thought process. So thought process and culture and leadership are huge elements in reliability and asset performance. So um, this is a great opportunity to bring everybody. I don't know about the other events that are out there, if they do this or not, but I can tell you we do. We feel very strongly that we should guarantee your time uh, is going to be well spent. And we basically have a simple guarantee that says learn what you come to learn at IMC or your money back, no hassles, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Um, the conference is going to be held on the Gulf of Mexico the west coast of Florida. It's called the Hyatt Regency Coconut Point. It is um, 
jaw-dropping stunning. The reason that we chose this photo, this is the back uh, courtyard of the hotel. There's, I don't know, three or four swimming pools, a waterfall, a rock wall, a, a, a curving slide that you can have fun with if you like that type of thing. Um, but also, way back in the gulf there, if you see, you can walk in the back of the boardwalk that's going all the way in the back of the center, and they have a boat that takes you to a private island in the Gulf of Mexico. You can bring a picnic lunch, um, go out there and enjoy the, the dolphins and the, creek, uh, the blue water of the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, you're there for serious work, but it's not too bad an environment uh, in December. Um, you do not have to stay at the Hyatt Regency Coconut Point. That's just where we're holding the, um, the logistics of the hotel. All the learning sessions are there. We have four or five different hotels in the area, um, and uh, you can stay at any of those. And there's a, there's a variety of uh, pricing, although the Hyatt has been very good to us in terms of um, how, they, uh, how they price uh, the conference. Another view of the wonderful hotel. There's many restaurants on site as well. And it's it's um, got a trolley that goes across. There's a large outdoor mall called Coconut Point Mall, if you want to Google that, in Bonita Springs, Florida. If you are bringing your significant other, um, we have a very good spouse meal program where you can buy a pass, and, the, and your uh, companion is welcome to all of the meal and social functions, casino night, and the American Young Concert, um, and then we've got a, uh, a convenience room for your spouses too, right next to our registration desk where they can relax, um, they can come over with you, have breakfast, relax, and meet other um, uh, spouses who are at the conference, so uh, make sure you check that out. Um, it is a great place to bring a, uh, a significant other. Um, and we strongly recommend that because there are worse places to be in December than Bonita Springs, Florida. Um, so what's next? Well, ask us a question. If you have a question on this webinar, you can just type the question in the Q&A pane, and we're glad to take a few minutes and uh, answer those questions. Um, as I said, you can register for IMC 2013 by itself. You can register for the forums only, the pre-conference forums, the Reliability Centered SAP, the Reliability Centered Maximo, or you can do a combo pass to do both IMC and the forums. You can call us in the US toll free at 888-575-1245. Our friendly team is standing by to help you out. If you're calling internationally, 239-333-2500. You can email us or you can visit the website for more information. There's a, bro there's a PDF brochure. Um, as I said, right now we're running very special uh, team attending, uh, attendance rates. And as, we, as I said, we do have um, many um, uh, other hotels. Uh, so this has uh, been the presentation, and I hope it's been uh, useful for you. And if you do have questions, I'm uh, more than happy to, um, uh, to, uh, to answer them right now. Somebody's asking about how do you get a download of this presentation. Um, so we will have this presentation available for playback on demand. I think today or tomorrow you'll get an email to give you the link of that. Um, you can download the brochure by going to, which basically what what we did was we took many of the many of the pieces of information that are in the brochure and put them in this presentation. So by downloading the brochure, you pretty much have this presentation. Um, let's see here. And um, Dan Burr, or Dan, thank you very much. Somebody's saying that they've read Zap and they think it's really good. Um, it was written a while back, um, but uh, people haven't changed all that much since it was written. So I agree with you. Um, Dan, I think it's a, actually a very good read, and I think reading Zap before you don't have to, but if you read Zap before you come to IMC, uh, A, I bet you William would sign it for you, so bring your copy, and B, I think you'll, you'll, you'll have kind of the, the ideas that he'll be presenting won't be exactly so new. You'll have a chance to digest them a little bit and, and kind of go to a little different, deeper level when he... Um, uh, he couldn't um, he, he, when, when, uh, when you listen to that. Um, somebody registered, it's just a logistic, somebody registered for the conference last year and wasn't able to attend. Um, and we absolutely um, always want you to attend. So we do understand the life of a maintenance reliability professional. We do not want cancellations. We do have special rules for them, but we try to be as generous as possible. So yes, um, Naudi, please contact um, CRM at reliabilityweb.com and we'll, we'll see what we can do to roll that registration forward to uh, to this year. Um, 
the uptime award presentations. Uh, when is that? And that will take place on Thursday morning. And everybody will present. There's six um, different categories that have won this year. We'll be announcing them uh, quite soon. Uh, and so that presentation is Thursday morning. And so. Um, uh, Felix, you're, you're part of the team that won one of the awards, so we definitely want you there. And then um, you can look online. Um, there, the, the brochure was put up before we announced um, the titles of each one of the presentations. Each one, for those of you who didn't win Uptime Awards, the six winners will also share their presentations. In other words, each one of the six Uptime Award winners in their category will present their um, journey, how they got to the place, and present the overview of their program and why we think and why they think it's award winning. Um, and we hope you will participate in that. The Uptime Award winners will be wearing special shirts you'll be able to identify them with. They have special badges. We obviously think they're very special and we hope you do too. And they're there at the conference basically uh, to do many things, to share their best practices and their, their, uh, their journey with you. Um, and we invite you to approach them during the coffee breaks and sit with them during lunch and the networking sessions um, and ask them about their programs and ask them about the experience of being part of the Uptime Awards. Um, so we're very much looking forward to seeing some of those award winners there. Um, the recording will be, this, this, uh, this is being recorded and we will send you a, um, uh, a uh, special link for that. Oh, my, my, the, one of the biggest reliability gurus on the planet is apparently on this, Ricky Smith, and he's asking if he can get a shirt. Ricky, I hope you know that I would give you the shirt right off my back, my friend. Um, so whatever shirt you want, uh, you got. And um, uh, somebody's asking about what airport, and thank you, Ricky, for taking the time to be on this presentation. Uh, Ricky will be doing some coaching. He's presenting, uh, since he's asked a question, I'll highlight his presentation. He's presenting um, both, he's got a book on planning scheduling. Um, him and Jerry Smith are doing a short course, half-day certificate short course, and he's also presenting um, with David Thompson of Alcoa. If, you, if that rings a bell, Alcoa was Alumax, and that was the I believe maybe the first um, NAM award winner for best maintenance reliability. People used to pay, uh, maybe they still do, a very large sum of money just to go see that program. It was so fine. And David um, has uh, sustained that program um, with much of its original intent and many improvements in it, and they're going to present that. Um, one of the hardest things to do is to, um, to sustain programs over time. Uh, several people, Ricky, are saying they're glad you're going to be there. Hope you're going to be um, be able to um, talk to people while you're down there. Um, so, uh, what airport? RSW. The um, it's called Southwest Florida or Fort Myers Airport. Um, there are like 400 flights in and out. Generally, you can any place where there's a hub, you can get in here from. Um, uh, if you're coming internationally and you want to fly to somewhere like New York or Atlanta, you can hub down here easy, Miami. If you do want to fly somewhere else in Florida, it's two hours from Miami. It's two hours from Fort Lauderdale to drive. It's two hours from Tampa to drive. It's three hours from Orlando to drive. Um, and uh, what else? The technology of the learning labs you've you've seen already that is vibration uh, alignment um, uh, it is um, lubrication it is motor testing and operator driven reliability and you will be able to go in those um, learning labs and get your hands on this equipment um, the way that you can get the most out of this conference is to plan your outcomes. Download that brochure. This, this goes for any um, conference, but especially IMC, because as you see, we've got 10, 11 things going on almost the entire time. So you don't want to get lost. You want to create your outcome, your goal outcomes, prior to ever getting down here. And, th and also, maybe pick... 10 people that you want to meet that are on the program. So, you know, set, set your learning agenda prior. You can always change it on site when you get there. We're very flexible. Um, the program's very flexible. But if you have your outcomes already preset, um, we're happy to review them with you and help you and guide you with them. I'm sure so are some of the other subject matter experts. I see Terry Wireman's on the call here. Um, you know, if you know any of the people that are going to be at IMC, you can talk to them, and uh, they'll help you as well. Um, so. Um, uh, they are um, uh, they are uh, 
uh, available to help guide you. So make your goals and create your outcomes, and we'll help you get those outcomes. But that's the best way. Don't come unplanned to IMC. There's just too much going on. Um, uh, we're being asked how many people typically attend. We get 850 to 1,000 people at this conference from 30 different countries. Um, and uh, as I said, if you do want to, if you know any of the names of the thought leaders in maintenance, reliability, or asset management, um, they all, almost all generally are here at this uh, at this particular conference. Somebody's asking how how can I convince my boss? Uh, we'll show him the presentation. Show him. Focus on the focus on. Um, the content that's available at IMC, um, the learning content. That's what most bosses are going to want to see. What are you going to bring me back? Then let him know where it can plug some of the gaps and how. You, what what typically happens that I think the number is 95 percent of IMC attendees in the past have reported that they take things back and make immediate improvements. You need to make a promise about what you're going to go there and get and what you're going to be able to come back. Some of the conference provides you with immediate short-term improvement efforts, the improvement techniques that you can go do the Monday after you get back. Others obviously take a while and you, you can start to build the foundation to making those reliability improvements. But we try to have a blend of both short-term and long-term and we coach all presenters not just sticking with the theoretical, actually give people things they can leave that presentation and go do. And we invite people who promise us that they will deliver outcomes that are actionable. That's who we invite to, to present at IMC. Um, so we, we very much uh, appreciate it. Um, Ricky says he's offering to help you create a plan uh, for uh, IMC. So if, you, if, you, if you're in one of the LinkedIn groups with Ricky, feel free to do that. Terry Wireman's there. Um, he can help you with that as well. And we're here. So feel free to, uh, to call any of us. And we've just got a um, uh, Mora Abad who is um, with us now handling Latin America. So if, you're, if Spanish is your language, we also have um, uh, 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 a um, ambassador there to help you from that regard as well. Um, I think that that is about it. W I guess the, where I would close this is that those of us who follow the work, those of you who follow our work here at Uptime Magazine and Reliability Web, I can just tell you that this is the culmination of the year for us. In other words, all things that we do eventually funnel down into IMC. And IMC is kind of our year uh, in review. And we try to find a blend of the very important information that you have to know plus new innovative things that you should know so that you're not going to hear at other places. And we work very hard to bring you a unique experience at IMC. And that's what it's really all about. And I hope that you can, if you've never been, that you'll come and attend it. Um, as I said, we're, we have no hesitance to promise you that it is going to be a fantastic uh, uh, experience. And we wrap it up with um, giveaways uh, like the Apple Airbook. We have every, you know, so your chances are one in a thousand you'll win an Apple Airbook, uh, an iPad, and many of the vendors give away iPads and um, iPods and uh, Kindle readers and and you know many high tech gadgets that we tend to give away at the end. So it's quite a festivity at the end of the conference. So we do recommend that you stick around if there's any way possible. Um, so come on down, give us a call, reserve your seats today. Um, I will say it does sell out, um, so it is probably a good idea to register early rather than later. Um, we're, in theory, an industry of planners and schedulers, so we should plan and schedule, although we do understand that sometimes that's not possible. And we do our best to accommodate regardless of, um, of when, you are, um, when you are registering. We just want you to be there. So you tell us what we can do to have you there, and we're glad to, to support you in that regard. And with that, we'll respect your time. And that is the conclusion of this um, web workshop. And I can't thank you again enough for your time and attention today. My name is Terrence O'Hanlon, publisher at Reliability Web and Uptime Magazine. And it has been an absolute pleasure to um, host this today. We very much appreciate it. Thank you very, very much.